Okay, let's talk mounting these things because, I mean, you could, I guess, if you didn't want to or didn't have it, you could use this without a handle, but they work so much better with a handle. Now, this here's just that standard Singer Machine needle again on a little twig here, round it, I cut it, you know, rounded the uh, end, and then kind of tapered it along this area here so you uh so it wouldn't uh so you could get a good grip on it basically and you know i can rest it right there in the web of my hand and get a good push with it through some tougher material things like that um just put some uh 100 nylon upholstery thread on the handle just for a little grip i've never really used it for sewing but if i needed to um that was uh it's there for me to use it now this here was pretty much has been my field uh, my field kit for a very long time I don't know how many years this piece of twig is pretty old the new needle has been broken and replaced a few times but uh, I didn't make well, I didn't even really make it I took a scrap of leather and folded it over then a piece of shoddy string and wrap it a couple of times and voila toss it in my bag so it doesn't poke holes and stuff so not the greatest little case for it but it's been very effective and I've hadn't had to change it yet so um, once again just to, so you can see it it's just a little twig probably show you guys how to make one sometime maybe at the end, another part of this video we'll go outside and cut a twig and knock one out uh, the main thing to remember with this when you're selecting your twig don't choose a twig that has a lot of pith to it this one actually had a little bit of pith to it it was very small pith and uh, you can see it here on the back side right there that little bit of pith but and I had originally punched through that and then worked it out a little bit so it doesn't have quite the bite that it used to so just keep that in mind when you're selecting your twig. That's really about the only thing is smallest pith as possible or no pith at all would be very preferred. Um, you can make a little hole or whatever, drill it with your awl or just use the needle whatnot to uh, go through it. Now here is another little doodad I have. Now you may recognize this is just a standard size um, exacto knife blade handle for the larger kind of exacto knife blades and it has this little guy right here see so as you can see it's just a standard um, blade I'm gonna go off on a little bit of tangent with this so bear with me all right now this is the collet piece from a standard I guess collet's the right term standard small size exacto blade if I take unscrew here remove this piece this is just or this is just a smaller version from the small ones what I did was you can see let me get this back together here so I don't have to hold on to umpteen million things what I did was was just let's see there we go cut used a saw sawed right below the first thread still plenty of material there filed that flat and then on the top here since the top was rounded I took a file and just filed a flat spot and then drilled I think it was an eighth inch hole there so what that allows me is to make a little bitty uh, stitching all right here you go insert it in tighten it down whoops didn't tighten it enough there that's one of the smaller needles oh boy it's making a liar out of me here oh mercy me all sorts of problems there we go see not coming out now that's one of the smaller needles of the and then we have one of the larger guys here bam bam 
like that and then even this little bitty guy right here the the standard singer machine needle put it in there tighten it down and what do you know sticks in there and I've used this a lot over the years this one um, really works you can use all four of those needles with it plus since it still has the standard exacto blades in it you can use the smaller narrower blades just put them both right in there take this out you can use the larger blades in it also a fire steel get the right size diameter fire steel I think the Boy Scout metal match one that steel fits in there nicely a uh, little screwdriver blades a jigsaw blade um, you may have to file it down a little bit so it'll fit within I think when I had done them they had to fit within this little area right here so that inside diameter makes sure, file it down so it fits in there and it makes a nice little saw there's all sorts of little attachments that you can do with this thing so um, play around with it. it it was a it's a pretty neat little idea I had for a little multi-purpose kind of craft tool if you will and uh, it's worked out pretty neat so back to the point of things thank you for enduring that little tangent so how do we use this sucker alrighty well I'm going to see I think I can use this one I think this needle here will be large enough that you guys can see okay All right. so we need some thread of course so I got some thread here um just for demonstration purposes I'm going to just sew on this little black nylon strap here um, and then I got right here is some uh, artificial sinew I think that'll provide enough contrast that you guys will be able to uh, see what's going on here so first thing is first thread your needle now sometimes this is an easy thing and then sometimes it can be a real pain in the butt so bear with me here I'm trying, I'm trying to do it on camera but I may not be able to. Up, oh, yep, there we go. Okay, so got it. There we go. Needle threaded. Now this first is just going to be the standard how to use it kind of uh, straight stitching, if you will. Um, I think this creates what they call a lock stitch. It's a very strong stitch and if one of the loops break, the whole deal doesn't really uh, come undone. So we got our material here, just a piece of webbing. What we're going to do is we're going to put the pieces together here, make maybe just a big loop. All right. Going to push the material the needle through now what I like to do is put my my thumb right here like right next to where it's going to come out to help support the material just makes it easier to push it through we're going to push it through now you remember that loop or that flat spot on some of the needles that we talked about earlier and then it has like the long um, groove well what's going to happen is the thread is going to rest down inside this long groove on one side and then when you retract that loop that flat spot and short groove it's going to make a loop there so push your material through retract it part way grab a hold of that loop and pull that ma your thread material on through now how much do you need well you should have at least enough on both ends to go all the way to the end of whatever uh, course of stitching you're doing. So right there we go and then looks like this is going to run into another part on the video so stay with us folks. <laughs> 